seconds. A very, very good morning to you if you've just tuned in. Our roadshow for the elections have brought us to Solom Kizevil, uh, formerly known as Drifontein here in Mpumalanga. And uh, we're at the Mkondo municipality or in the Mkondo municipality. We're standing just below a statue of Solom Kize, who uh, was a struggle hero that had passed away and was actually shot by the police. And what he was fighting for was the rights of land ownership, black land ownership. So we're going to be talking about some of these issues, how far the struggle has come. And of course, uh, other issues that are affecting the community but let's let's put you in perspective if you haven't heard about the municipality and you don't really know much about it we've put this together for you just to give you a bit of background information our reporter Mweli Masilele compiled it for us Mkondo a rural municipality with a population of over 170,000 agriculture is the backbone of the municipality's economy Many farmers here specialize in forestry and crop production. But just like some other municipalities in the country, it has its own challenges. Service delivery is amongst others. Farm dwellings such as Sadbank village outside the Bidritif town are the most affected. We've got nothing. There is no service delivery at all. We don't have roads, we don't have electricity, we don't have water and we don't have toilets. Not toilet. The municipality admits that villages like Sandbank are lagging behind in terms of service delivery. About 34 million rand has been set aside to construct a proper road in this area. Construction of bulk water infrastructure projects is also in progress. We have decided that we better construct the road because through the road that's when we can able for them to access service delivery. Uh, for now, we've just given them this water, as you can see the tanks on top there. We are trying to give them water. And they, on our ITP also, we've uh, provided money, or we've put money aside to develop the road, because you can't go here twice. You go once with your car, and the second time, you'll say we won't come here again, because of the condition of the road. Unemployment is also a huge problem here. 35% of the population is jobless, most of them being young people. The forestry industry, which is the biggest employer in the municipality, continues to retrench. Forestry has mechanized a lot. And due to mechanization, a lot of people are out of work. Uh, harvesting is becoming a very challenging work. And uh, that's why we've mechanized mainly in the forestry business. Some government interventions, such as the Community Works Program, have come as a relief to residents. I am now able to buy what I couldn't afford to buy before. With CWP, I am able to make a living. 
manje ay sengi akonu kutole. Manje akonu kuti tenga la bantu ana. I am being assisted a lot because I am able to support my children. With the money I get, I afford to buy food. Despite the many challenges, people of this area remain positive about their future. They are inspired by their struggling hero, Sol Mkize, who fought against forced removals in the 1980s. Mkize was shot dead by apartheid police while attempting to organize a peaceful march against removal of people from Trifontaine. If it wasn't for Sol Mkize, we would not be staying here. The apartheid government wanted to move us out of this area, but he fought for us until he was killed by the apartheid government. With the election fast approaching, people of this area can't wait to vote for political parties of their choice. Mweli Maslela, SAPC News, at Sol Mkizavel in Pomalang. All right, there you go. That's giving you just a little bit of background about where we're broadcasting from this morning. So I think it's only fitting uh, to follow up that particular insert by talking to one of the community leaders here in the area, uh, Vukani Maswazin Kozi. He's uh, from the Solom Kizeville and he's one of the community leaders. Good to have you on the program. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Leon. Let's talk about some of the, the, the basic services here and, and, and what life is like. Well, give, us a, give us a glimpse into the daily lives of people. Uh, Solim Kiza, it's a rural community, but we want to appreciate that so far the basic services um, Kondo local municipality has managed to bring it to the people. Uh, all the people here, they've got uh, portable clean water uh, inside their yards. Uh, we're trying uh, by all means. The national government is also assisting us around, around the issue of uh, uh, roads. So we want to appreciate that one because it has been done. But uh, currently the road that is next to us, uh, it's leading to the school. There's a boarding school called uh, 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 around here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And that, okay. okay, so the, the, in terms of, of employment, though, um, I know that here in this area, I mean, it's a, it, it's a very high unemployment rate, though. Yes, uh, it's, uh, the unemployment is high. Uh, but we want to appreciate that even though not many people are employed, uh, but you'll find that people are doing subsistence farming. They are also uh, working in the forestry because this area is mainly forestry. But also we're fortunate that we've got one mine around which is called Kangra Mines, which is employing more than 800 people. Okay. Okay. In terms of voting and the feelings... Uh, amongst some of the, uh, the, the, the the population here, how are they feeling? I mean, are they are they quite optimistic about the elections? Quite optimistic about their future here? Yeah, the people are optimistic. Uh, uh, this area is predominantly an ANC area uh, because all the wards that are situated here, the three wards, uh, they've been won by ANC uh, candidates in the past. So we're looking forward now that we don't see any changes that are going to be taking place. Do you think that, um, that, 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 that the ANC and the municipality in general are working hard to improve the lives of the community? Have you seen a lot of changes here over the years that you have been here? Yeah, there are a lot of changes in, the, in this area. Uh, we've got the multi-purpose centre in the same area called uh, Gonge Manot. Uh, we've got uh, a school, a uh, boarding school, which is also a, a new development. We've got the big carry, which is owned by women. Uh, which is assisting we've got the bakery project which uh, the youth is also operating so there are a number of changes which bringing hope to the people every day yeah. all right let's leave it there for this morning thank you for talking to us here on the program um maswazi and Kozi is a community leader the uh, sol mkizeville talking to us about just generally the issues that people are uh, faced with here but also feeling optimistic ahead of the elections you may hear some singing in the background well that's uh, some of the eff supporters that have come out here and uh, outside just outside the broadcast and obviously the eff now contesting this particular municipality and are hoping to uh, get as many of the voters as they possibly can but uh, let's see how that goes all right Let's take an ad break. Beautiful shot of the sun rising here uh, over what is described as the sixth largest dam in uh, South Africa. And it's called the? Hazop Dam. There you go, the Hazop Dam. So there we have it. We'll see you after this. Stay tuned.